Hello and welcome to Psychopathology Lesson 6. This is the first of three lessons covering OCD and in this video we're going to be looking at what OCD is, the characteristics of OCD and then finish off with some example exam questions. So OCD is an anxiety disorder where anxiety arises from both obsessions and compulsions. Compulsions are a response to the obsessions, and the people suffering from OCD believe that the compulsions will reduce their anxiety in some way. Now, there are quite a few different types of OCD, and the main types are on the screen for you now. There'll be some there that you recognize as being the more well-known and stereotypical types of OCD, such as people who have hand-washing compulsions, or people who repeatedly check things, and people who count and arrange things and have this need for symmetry. However, you can also see that there are some less well-known forms of OCD, such as people who are afraid that if everything isn't in perfect order and just right, something terrible will happen. Or they'll be punished, which is known as being a doubter or a sinner. Um, but as you can see, the general theme around OCD is being afraid that something will happen if something isn't done properly or a certain amount of times. So as with phobias and depression, the other two conditions that we've covered as part of the psychopathology topic, OCD can be split into cognitive symptoms, behavioural symptoms, and emotional symptoms, where cognitive symptoms involve thoughts, behavioural symptoms involve actions, and emotional symptoms involve feelings. So let's start with cognitive symptoms, and the most standout cognitive characteristic is obsessions. So obsessions are intrusive thoughts or impulses that are perceived as forbidden or inappropriate. They might be frightening or embarrassing, which could lead to the person not actually wanting to share them with other people. Very common obsessions involve things like ideas, like germs are everywhere, doubts, like if I don't do this, something bad will happen, impulses, like wanting to scream swear words or obscenities, or even images, perhaps of a sexual nature. And these intrusive thoughts are uncontrollable. Another cognitive symptom is awareness. So somebody with OCD recognises that the obsessive thoughts or impulses that they're having are a product of their own mind and are for the most part unreasonable, irrational and or excessive. Moving on, behavioural characteristics of OCD revolve around compulsive behaviours. These behaviours are performed to reduce the anxiety created by the obsessions. They are repetitive and they are unconcealed in that no attempt is made to hide them. Examples include things like hand washing and checking, but they could also be mental acts such as praying or counting over and over again. People with OCD feel like they must perform these actions or something terrible will happen, which creates the anxiety. So that being the case, the compulsions are designed to reduce the anxiety that's being experienced. Interestingly, the behaviours are often not connected in any realistic way to the behaviour that they are designed to prevent. So there are even some patients who only experience compulsions without any obsessive thoughts. And then lastly, we come to emotional characteristics. And the main emotional characteristic is anxiety, which is caused by both the obsession and also the compulsive behaviour. You've also got embarrassment and shame, because people with OCD very often are aware of their excessive behaviour, but are also aware of the uncontrollable nature of that behaviour and of those thoughts. And then finally, you've also got depression which arises due to the inability to experience any kind of pleasure as a result of the anxiety that is all-consuming. Okay, so those are your characteristics of OCD. Now, if this comes up in an exam, you'll be most likely to ask to name, explain, or pick out different symptoms. Now, when I say pick out, I mean you'll most likely be given a story of some kind, and you'll be asked to find the symptoms located within the story and then justify your answer. So on the screen now, you've got the first question, which is about Bob. This is uh, one of those pick out questions where you have to kind of explain what is meant by an obsession or what is meant by compulsions in relation to the story. Now, the story could be slightly different and you might be asked to pick out something different. But in general, that's the way that it works. 
And then you've also got your general short answer questions as well, where you might have to outline one behavioral and one cognitive characteristic of OCD, or like the last question on the screen, you might just be asked to outline characteristics, but there not be very much guidance as to which characteristics and it be left completely to you. The thing to bear in mind here is that all of these questions are four markers. Okay, so particularly with the second two questions, it's not enough to just identify some symptoms, you actually have to explain what the symptoms are in order to get the four marks. Okay, so that is the end of the video. The next OCD video will be on biological explanations for OCD, and the link to that should already be on your screen. As always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you ASAP. I hope it's all been useful, and thank you very much for listening.